The clock is ticking for the city of Marble Falls. This weekend, an 80-year-old bridge there will come down, all to make way for a much bigger project. KXAN's Ignacio Garcia has been talking to locals, some excited, some sad to see the old Highway 281 bridge disappear. Keith Crabb is out to spend some quality time with his daughter, Julie. He's launched off Lakeside Park many times over 14 years. I fished here with my dad, and I brought my oldest boy, who's 18, and we fished tournaments here. And uh, we fished under that bridge and caught many a fish. It's going to be weird to see it gone, that's for sure. But time and progress has gotten the best of it. TxDOT and demolition crews are making final preparations for Sunday morning's blast. The decks being cleared, explosives being placed, and 281 traffic will be stopped. Traffic will probably be 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, they're making plans now as to what would be the best time to stop it. They'll have to inspect the, the new bridge afterwards to make sure there's not any damage. There's an EMS plan in place, which includes help from nearby Horseshoe Bay. And we'll have units on both sides of the bridge so that if there's an emergency on, the other side and we can't get the units that are you know, stationed here across, they will be able to provide uh, answers for those calls. But that's a small inconvenience for Charlie Cummins, who's been waiting for a new bridge since 95. It'll be so much safer because you won't be uh, fighting the traffic on the other side. There's going to be uh, sidewalks, to pedestrian sidewalks. There'll also be bicycle friendly sidewalks, which are really, really wonderful. And a new bridge to look up to next time Keith and little Julie are out catching some bass. In Marble Falls, Ignacio Garcia, KXAN News. The cost of that new bridge will be, uh, be about $30 million by the time both sides of the highway are done in late 2014. You can join us here Sunday morning. KXAN will be live at the implosion of the old bridge in Marble Falls. That will happen right at 8 o'clock. A large crowd is expected to watch the action. You don't have to go out there. We'll have it right here. And Aaron, I know you're looking forward to that on Sunday morning. Oh, yeah, it'll be exciting.